Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> My name is uh, Jeffrey Casso, teacher here at West Mountain High School. And we've been using the uh, toy now for about a month. I've used it in my pop class and of course in the leadership class. At the beginning of leadership, they all think they're great leaders. Okay, they all have this thing that I'm the best and I'm the greatest and that they can lead no problem and they can teach. And then um, you put the blindfold on and they realize what they're trying to get across is not universal. At first, when I took on the role of guiding the three other people, I, um, I thought I was going to be pretty good at it, and I thought my explanations were really good, but it turned out that I was not making any sense according to them. On your right side, yeah. okay, like there's those three little dots in like yeah, one, two, three. triangle form, uh -huh. right? Yeah, no, no. Okay, move up a bit, like okay. on your right, <laughs> you're going to notice there's a crease. When uh, Cammy, she was trying to explain it to me, I didn't understand it at all, but when Gabriel, he's a really close friend of mine, and I really understood what he was trying to say to me with all the the textures of the pieces. It's frustrating because I've played it before. Oh, like, why isn't it working with them, you know? I wanted to play it again. Like, at first I was like, no, no, not this game again. Because for me, it was really frustrating. But I was like, okay, now I actually want to do it again. Like, I want to see if I'm able to do it better. It really did reflect their personalities. Because right. you had the Navid, the Joker of the group. For the first five minutes, he was just fooling around, but getting everybody laughing. And maybe that was a good thing. Yeah. Then you had uh, Miss Bailey who was the quietest of the group, and typically she is quiet. She didn't ask any questions. Oh yeah, you, you really can see that yeah. like, I was like quiet, I was like, okay. You I, saw I, I was thinking too much, and then Gabriel was calm, and then like Nabi was like, okay, well, I'm impatient, I don't know what to do. And especially with the blindfold on, I felt very claustrophobic, and I was getting very frustrated because I wanted to like take it off and like show them, but I couldn't, so. You know, we were all like eager to tell people things. You know, and everyone's yelling over each other, and that's what like caused problems, so I just decided, I'm like, okay, you know what? I know like what it is to be in their position, so I'm like I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. Honestly, I just think it's patience. It's all about patience and not getting frustrated. Because the moment you get frustrated, then that's when you start messing up and you just lose the empathy for the person. That's what I didn't do right in the first time I did. I was really impatient. I was like, because I expected like to get it done that like quickly, but I didn't. So, like, patience is the key with this. Uh, it's a game. Mm -hmm. Kids love games and they always want to play it, but I wasn't sure what they were taking home, what was the message. I would try to facilitate a conversation about empathy and do you feel what the others are feeling, are you learning anything about your own skills. I wasn't sure if they were getting that, but listening to some of the kids you interviewed today, I was very impressed that they actually, that was a good, a good take home message that they understood. Everyone learned about it. Even though we didn't play, you can learn by watching because you know it's not easy. And you can see like by looking at them, you can see because it's a new experience for everybody, even those watching, you know, we can, we feel what they feel. Like you, you're not playing the game at the moment, so you don't know how they're feeling. But if you put them, if you put yourself in their shoes, then you can like understand how frustrated they are and impatient they are. Uh, it kind of brings us more together because a lot of us are like in different cliques in the school. Like everybody has their own group. So when even when we come into leadership class, like I think it's more of like the people that are at the top. So it's like very popular people and stuff like that, and everybody's in a different group. So it's like brings us more together because we all have to kind of get along and like come in as each one. Other. Yeah. We come in as one. Not only does it like does the game make you like guide others, but you're also guiding yourself and helping like the guiders as well. So like it's more like it make it makes you feel like a community you get closer to each other. And I'm hoping that they came away with that knowledge of empathy and what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. If you don't have that, then you're not going to be a successful leader. I think just in general, empathy is a very good thing to have. Yes. Because, you know, so you're not judging others, but you can just really put yourselves in their shoes, so it really helps you appreciate others like, more. Does it make you a better writer, or a better student, or a better reader? Definitely. Like, Definitely. It makes I think you, it makes you better yeah. in every single way. If you do not have empathy, it's like, you can't take on every people's point of view. You can't see everything from a different point yeah, of view. Yeah, and you're just going to be judging the whole time. It was interesting how most of them understood the, the need to have empathy and to really feel what the other person is feeling. You may not understand my instructions and I need to understand that you don't understand that and somehow I need to change my way. As a teacher, how do you see play, like not even this game, but play in general? You watch kids on a Saturday at a park, how they organize their games, how they make their own teams, how they make their own rules, how they enforce their own rules. It's a beautiful thing. There's no adults, there's no referees. Mm -hmm. And I love watching that because 
that's what it's all about them you know making the strategies and the environment for themselves so same thing in a classroom or a gymnasium it's uh, yes they like to have that structure from the adult perspective but they love to play and they learn tremendous things just by playing in pop class we um, deal with like many skills and learn about different types of skills and things that will help us like further on in our life it's uh, somewhat of a new course that helps these young students prepare themselves for the workforce later on in their life. So I related this toy, the Connections toy, with how they can learn how to communicate better and have that empathy for others in their work. A lot of communication is involved in the workforce because you got to talk to the guy who manages the factory, you got to talk to the factory workers, you got to talk to the head of sales, you got to talk to the international representative. Like, there's all these different people that you have to make sure they understand. The, the small, like, circle, not, they're not circles, but, okay, yeah, those. What's, what's the, 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 the soft one? Okay. And have it the one dot um, and slide it down the arrow to the end. To the tip of the arrow? Yeah. yeah. During this game you learn communication is key and you always need to communicate. There's different types of ways of communicating because maybe certain people don't communicate certain ways or don't know certain words so you have to make it specific to the way they understand it. I, I think this game just teaches like really patience and sitting down with someone and, and explaining something over and over no matter how many times and making them explaining it the goal rather than finishing the goal.